think I know what it is. My Hawaiian sister. Yes. 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 And, I, and, I'll t and I'll tell you why. I, I'll tell you why we have some wherever our brothers and sisters are. Okay. Okay. I go. Amen. So this. Sorry. 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 Is it the book? Yes, I'll tell you everything about it. It's not something that you just have to see. You have to know something about this plant. Okay. Uh, this plant wow. here is called the mimosa plant, the mimosa plant. The mimosa. And it has this indigenous knowledge attached to it that I told you earlier on. You see, during the time of slavery, uh, most of our brothers and sisters did not want to be captured as captives. So we went hiding in caves and mountains so that we would not be captured. So at our hiding places, we grew a lot of this plant to surround wherever we were. Mm. So this plant informed our decision whether to come out or to stay indoors. Wow. So wow. early morning, the elder of the clan would peep through the holes to see whether the plant is as open as we can see now. Mm. And sometimes when it closes, it takes like 30 minutes before it, it opens back again. So when you observe that the plant is as open as we can see now, which means it is safer it's out safe. there, come out and do whatever you feel like doing before returning back to your roots. Also, when you wake up and find out that the plant is something like this, which means it is not safe. They, which means it is not safe. These people are there wanting to, to capture us. So please don't come out and stay at your hiding place. So this plant saved a lot, a lot of our brothers during that era. Now, this plant is a, it's, it's a miraculous plant because it is still following Africans wherever we are. We have some of these plants, most parts in, in the Caribbean. Yeah. We have some at Virginia, oh. Jamestown. Mm -hmm. We have some at Alabama. And I always tell my brothers and sisters, this plant saved our lives and it's still following us. So whenever you see this plant somewhere in the state, it's only telling you one thing. That thing that is saying to us is like this, Sankofa. Sankofa. Go back to your roots. Yes. Because you should know that this plant saved you from, 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 from being captured. So whenever you see this plant, wherever you are, tell, say to your brother and sister, it's time to return to my roots. So I thank you all for returning for your, to your roots. Make sure that's not water. Make sure it's pure water. Pure water, pure water. Yes. Now, we'll be making our way to uh, the video room. Uh, we are just going to show you a loop video. It's just like uh, a minute, two minutes video. So that those of us who, who have not been able to watch since con concerning slavery, we have the opportunity to work. Then after that, the journey starts to the slave river. Okay, excellent, so excellent. Oh no, you're fine. We got here the earliest we've ever gotten here before. So let's enjoy a full laid out presentation. Uh, we estimated about an hour uh, from when we pulled in. So yes, family, uh, we're trying to make sure that we have more than enough time on all of these sites so that we, uh, we can get the fullness of all of the information and the details. Yes. <laughs> As, and so family, when we say a busload of people, we mean a busload of people. That's what's up, man. You got the RBG thing going on strong. Our family group is going to have a nice short presentation and then we will continue on our full presentation of Asin Manso, Slave River, and this, yes family, this is a history of our stolen African ancestors. So let's meditate on that one. <laughs> 